Good evening, everyone. How are we tonight? Good. <laughs> we miss you guys. We miss the students. We are going to make this short and sweet for you because we know we have beautiful weather, but you have things to do, right? So we will speed this up if possible. Um, before we begin, I would like everyone to stand so we can say in our Father together. Thank you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, parents. So nice to pray together as a school community. Thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you to our new parents. We are sure that once we return to campus, you are going to get to feel our angel pride and take part in all of our community building activities. We're of course saddened that we couldn't start the school year the way we intended to. However, I will say that we have amazing teachers. As I've said multiple times, that's gonna be my keyword. All year long, we have amazing teachers. You have amazing teachers. When we discussed the fact that we needed to remain closed and go to Catholic online synchronous learning, our teachers did not hesitate at all. We informed them and they started planning immediately. They were working all summer. They were making sure they had everything they needed to, making sure they were experienced in Zoom, Google Classroom, and whatever platforms they're using. And so I just wanna give our amazing teachers a round of applause, please. Again, we're so blessed here. They jumped right in and they got to work. So thank you guys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I'm going to go ahead and introduce everyone, even though you guys know us, Mrs. Mary Rodriguez. <laughs> Mrs. Rebecca Shepard. Mr. Lazaro Mesa. Mrs. Arlene Fair. And Mr. Edward Rodriguez. Thank you, teachers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dismiss three of our teachers. They're going to prepare for you in the gym where you'll be picking up all of your items this evening. So you guys are free to go. And where's their condition? Yes. <laughs> Again, we'll make this short and sweet. <laughs> Real quick, before I hand the mic over to Mrs. Shepard, I want to remind you, yes, we are doing uniforms for the Catholic Online Synchronous Learning. Don't stress out if you don't have a uniform yet. You can put them in a solid color polo, navy, white, or gray, if it's a baby blue, powder blue, or they're the uniforms from last year, don't stress, that is just fine. We're gonna take time to transition into full uniform. If they're wearing something different on the bottom, we're not looking, if we don't see it, we're not worried. As long as they are appropriate, obviously, we don't want pajamas or sweatpants, we want them to feel like they are attending school. So please ensure that they take that serious. They do wake up, brush their teeth, comb their hair, and get ready for the um, Zoom classes, okay? Um, Normans will be here Wednesday evening, the 26th, from 2 o'clock to 6 o'clock p.m. in the gym. They do have protocol that they're implementing. They're going to take your temperature. They're asking that you only come as one parent with your children. You may bring them. I don't think, I think they're going to have dressing rooms in the event that you have to absolutely try something on, but they're asking that you try not to. Um, these students can come, like I said, but they ask that you don't bring extra family members along with you, okay? So please make sure to just proper, uh, follow that protocol so we can ensure your safety. Any other questions regarding uniforms? We're all okay? Um, we will have time to transition as well if we get to return to campus. If you still haven't purchased or you're just kind of hold off for now, that's fine. Let us know, we'll work something out and we'll give you that ample time to transition. I don't think we have many uniforms left over on campus for the older students. They're all very small uniforms left over. Um, so just let us know again if you have any issues. Without further ado, Mrs. Shepard. <laughs> all right. Good evening, everybody. So I'm just briefly going to go over our middle school scheduling because it is very different than last year. We have divided your children into four different cohorts. So there's cohort one, two, three, and four. And we did this to better service your children, to make sure that they are going to get the education that they need. And it also is going to limit our virtual classroom sizes, which is also very beneficial for both the student and the teacher. Uh, your child, when you go in, you are going to get a schedule for your child and it will have their cohort number written on there. 
Their cohorts might be mixed grade levels, okay? So they might, if your child is in seventh grade, they might be in a cohort with eighth graders as well, all right? However, we are always teaching to at least their grade level, okay? Sometimes the grade level above, but never the grade below, okay? Uh, second, we are expecting your children to attend school from eight o'clock to three o'clock every day, Monday through Friday. So they, again, they will have the schedule. If on their schedule, they're scheduled for English with myself on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from eight to 10, I am going to be seeing them from eight to 10 on Zoom, okay? Like Mrs. C said, we would like them to be in uniform. We do want them to feel that they are going to school, even if it is synchronous online, okay? What else was there? It's too hot to think right now. Oh, that's right. Every teacher is going to have jump in tutoring hours. This is going to be on um, a schedule that you will be given two days a week from 3 to 3.30. And that's just for students who feel like they maybe need a little extra beyond the lessons that they took throughout the week. They are doing a homework assignment they don't understand. It is not for if they have missed a lesson and they need to re be the, have the lesson taught to them again. Um, so there we will have, of course, our recorded lessons and everything that in the case of an absence, a student can go and watch the recorded lesson. But those jump in hours are really gonna be important um, for clarifying any questions so that it doesn't all fall on you guys, <laughs> okay? And I think that's it. The teacher will be online during that whole block. Oh yeah, the teacher's gonna be online the whole block time. So it doesn't mean that they're teaching the whole time, you know, a direct lesson. It could be that we're teaching, it's usually gonna be about the first 20 to 45 minutes, depending on the needs of the class, that the teacher will be giving direct instruction. And then after that, the teacher will remain online and the students will remain online. However, they will be doing individual or group work at that time, okay? They will have lunch breaks, they will have snack breaks, and we will always begin and end with prayer. Do, are there any questions so far about this? You're gonna get a lot of this information again inside where it's cooler. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? Oh, okay. Right ready to roll. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Well, excuse you. So you can get ready to roll. Thank you, parents. Again, all of our teachers are available. All of our teachers have their emails. Um, you know me and Mrs. Rodriguez. Just give us an email as well. Feel free to call the office if you have any questions or you think of anything when you get home.